What's up, everybody? This is Adrian. If you need anything scraped from the internet, such as leads or like stuff from Zillow, email me, adrian at the webscrapingguy.com. And today I'm going to show you how I scraped 150 plus thousand leads from Angie List or from Angie.com. So here I'm going to use, we're going to go to app.localbusinessleads.ai. Spoiler alert, this is uh, my product that I built. So we're going to go to Angie List and then, for example, Air Duct Cleaning, Alabama. And we're going to type in the city, so Auburn, and then press scrape. And then it does take a little bit of time to scrape because it's a live scrape. So this is happening in real time, but you get the best data that way. Cool, it looks like we have our results here. So we have website, name, description, phone numbers, emails, URL, and then all of this good stuff here. And then if you want to download a CSV and then I also email it to you as well, you can do that. So yeah, go download Here's the CSV. So we have all of this good stuff here. We have their categories, services offered, blah, blah, blah. Now that is uh, kind of a tedious process if you have to do all of that for 150,000 leads. Um, so if you don't want to do that every single time, then, or if you need like a, the entire database of the mass amount of leads, then I have them all right here, already scraped. Da, 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 da. And as you can see, there are a little over 150,000 leads from Angie List. So if you want that list, then just let me know. And if you want to actually know how to do this like in code, then I'm going to show you that now. So for all of the non-technical people, you can stop the video, all the all you techies out there, then I'll show you exactly how I did it and you can implement it if you want or uh, whatever. So you're going to go to this and I did this in JavaScript, but obviously you can easily, uh, you know, do this in any other language. So you go to this website slash company list, and then you have all these categories here. So that's perfect. So basically what you're going to do is, is fetch all of these web pages uh, that I'm going to show you and then get like all the categories, states and cities. So you have all the categories here. So if you click on, uh, and let's do like this one, air duct removal. So then that returns the major markets that returns all of the states right here. Boom. So you can just go through everything and get all the data. So this has all of the cities and let's just do Auburn because that's what we uh, did in the first place. So then you get all of this stuff. And then when you scroll down to here, here are the companies listed in alph yeah, alphabetical order. Let's see if we got this one here, advanced heating and air conditioning. Boom, we did. So yeah, we're gonna click on each individual page and get their information. So phone number is 256 something something, 5052, boom. So it looks like we're getting all that information. So how you actually get the information is you go here to the console network, uh, no, not network tab. We're just gonna refresh the page here. And then they use Next.js. So Next is terrible and exposes all of the data on the window. So if you look through the Next data, uh, variable on the window object, then you just need um, to follow the steps here. And yeah, you have all of the data right here. So if we have like contact info, then it has emails right here. Yeah, so all the information that you need on the profile. So basically what you're gonna do is just, yeah, scrape each page for that information. So I mean, how you do that. Okay, so if we start here from the first one, then yeah, you just really need to get the page. And let's see, what I did is I used, uh, let's see, let's just do like demo.js. Yeah, and really all you have to do is just, yeah, that. So I use this package ca called Got Scraping a lot. Um, I think it's amazing. It's the best for JavaScript. It's from Appif from the people at Appify. 
And if you run this on a server or like eventually your IP is going to get blocked. So you're going to have to do like proxy URL. And I have this function that I called where I just get uh, proxy URL. And I, I use um, smart proxy and storm proxies affiliate code in the uh, description. And if you want to use, yeah, storm proxies, that's, that's what I use. They have, that's a residential IP that is unlimited. So you can make unlimited bandwidth calls and uh, doesn't charge you more. So highly recommend those. But uh, yeah, you're going to want to use those because they are going to block you. And then you're just going to parse all of the um, the data with Cheerio. That's what I do with, um, yeah, for JavaScript. So getting the company info, then you just need to like uh, get the next data script tag. So that's this with, that's how you do that um, in Cheerio. And then get the profile, like super, super easy. JSON to parse like the script, pages, page prop, profile, blah, 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 and that's it. So pretty easy. That's how you get the profile at least. And then to get the links, then you just fetch, um, you just get the, the A tags for all of these things. So in um, Cheerio, you just like get A tags. Like, then you need to get like the hrefs. But if you have Copilot, then all you really need to do is just like give it instructions or it'll even know what, what to do. Uh, just put comments on there. So yeah, get VS code and GitHub copilot and do a lot of the work for you. So that's, that's it. That's how you get all those leads. And yeah, if you need the entire database, cause I already have that scraped, then uh, just email me Adrian at the web scraping guy.com. If you have any other questions, leave comments. I, would love to create videos about those comments. Always looking for new ideas of what to make videos about. So yeah, drop your comments, hit me up on Twitter. All right. Thanks.